Virgo, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. Now, if you're watching this, Virgo, trust that there is a message here for you, whether you are a regular viewer or this has just popped up in your feed, Virgo. You honored the call and clicked. Sometimes it's the whole reading that just resonates really powerfully, or other times it might just be that piece that you needed to hear. So, trust in the message. Now, I'm going to start with a couple of oracle cards and then I will go to the full tarot deck. Okay, well, Virgo, you're being told that conclusions are within reach. So maybe something's coming full circle, something's coming to completion, uh, coming to conclusion. It's the eclipse energy from this deck that I've pulled, and that can be fast, it can be powerful and transformative. Intriguing. Let's keep going. I've got the Oracle of the Angels here. And I have got, oh, fulfillment. This is very Nine of Cupsy to me, Virgo, which of course is the Wish Fulfillment card. So something's coming to completion, conclusion. Maybe a goal, hope, dream, wish is, qu is closer than what you're thinking here. I see someone who's crossing the threshold into this bright, sort of sunny energy. Maybe coming from a period of really hard work or a period where you don't really know if something's going to work out or what the outcome's going to be. And yet we see that path unfolding. All right, let's uh, go to the Major Arcana and then I'll, I'll work with the full tarot deck. Okay, I'm going to get your Major Arcana energy here. All right, what have we got? Virgo, it is the Emperor. Boom. Okay, it's actually an Aries energy and it's really the energy of someone who is making calculated moves to really set themselves up, to build their empire, to make something happen. So I feel like this is your reading if you have really had a vision, your eyes on the prize and you have been working, you know, planning, building, maybe you've been taking the action steps, um, or hey, maybe you were being asked to do that, but I just feel you're, most of you are already on this process, and now you're being told conclusions are within reach, you're about to cross the threshold. Now, the emperor can be very much a work, career, business, um, energy, or trying to set yourself up, you know, financially, so that you can build your own personal empire, so the type of energy here could be, look, I want to go into business and you get your first contract, your first client win. It could be, you know, in work career, you uh, have the opportunity to get promoted or, you know, a pay rise or something like that. All the way through to some of you might be, you know, working on some kind of investment project or, you know, working towards purchasing a home or, or something like that. They're kind of uh, emperor themes, like it is quite a, a bold sort of boss energy. Okay, so emperor energy, conclusions are within reach. Something coming into fruition or fulfillment. But we do have the five of wands here and this can be where we're feeling conflicted or there has been, you know, some kind of setback here. Often with the five of wands, it's an energy struggle. So if you have been, you know, bossing up here and trying to really work hard, you could be starting to deplete a little bit. You know, if you are in business or uh, entrepreneur, that is a very uh, realistic thing that happens. So again, it could be oh, I'm just getting to the end of my energy, but conclusions are within reach. Often the five of wands can also be where we have unproductive energies around us in our environment. The naysayers, you know, the people say, oh, you're wasting your time. It's never going to work. Um, you know, that's the five of wands. But as the emperor, you know, you come back to your why, you come back to your vision. And I really feel that you need to block it out the noise or you're needing to improve your self-care and your personal energy as you do go through this process because you're getting close to some kind of shift yeah okay so i've got um the cancer energy of the queen of cups here and i just feel like we're in gemini season right now of course we've got cancer season next so i feel over the next few weeks we have critical path energy so this is not a time to stop or to you know get up in your head about this or pause it feels like there's an opportunity by you know let's say you know later in in june 
that things will really come together and you sort of feel okay I know I'm on the right path now I think intuitively you can feel that but maybe you are waiting for some kind of solid outcome or evidence for the kind of calculated risk that you have taken so far Virgo oh and the knight of cups as well so this here is usually some kind of invitation proposal and it's bringing you the Ace of Cups. Like both of these cards show the Ace of Cups, which is, you know, some energy coming in your way, your cup being filled. Um, so what I'm saying here is like whatever you've been trying to achieve, and it will be different for all of you, so it's hard to cover all the scenarios, but it could be that you've been trying to, you know, um, get onto a podcast or something, and then it happens. It could be that you've been trying to find that role that more senior supervisor manager team leader kind of role and then you get the opportunity to apply or you get an offer um it could be that you know you've been trying to in invest or find a home and you just find that perfect one so there's some kind of opportunity that brings into fruition the vision that you have had that maybe you've been working towards for quite a long time yeah, look at that nine of pentacles. So not the nine of cups, but the nine of pentacles is that fruition card, but it's in the physical sense. So it's better in the context of this reading. We see someone who is really emancipated, who is feeling really um, successful with all things health, wealth, vitality, abundance. And usually the nine of pentacles talks about somebody who's followed a very independent path, self-sufficient. So like I said, it could be that you're trying to be um, a leader or a contractor or a business owner or, you know, really move up into that senior position. And the Nine of Pentacles is this beautiful indication that you actually really start, you know, you really start gaining, you really start getting those results. Temperance. Okay, we'll leave it on that one. Um, this is an energy of almost, but not quite. The pieces are coming together to reveal your divine sweet spot where it's like the stars aligning and that's where we get the fruition point. That's where we get the fulfillment point. Temperance talks about things coming into balance. Now, this is a divine guidance energy. If you are, you know, seeing angel numbers, finding feathers, um, seeing signs, having little synchronistic moments, they are all the breadcrumbs leading you on your path. So keep going because you are about to cross the threshold, Virgo. I am going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you'd like to follow up with a personal reading, Virgo, the first link down below will pop you over to my website to check those out. Uh, there's other useful links down below. I have a freebie, a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide if you would like to get started interpreting the cards for yourself. And then I also have two uh, paid tarot courses for you to explore if you want to. One is an introduction to intuitive tarot. And the other one is my immersive deep dive into a full foundation of tarot and my professional reading process. Uh, there is also my Instagram and TikTok accounts. I'm really active and interactive over there. So I'd love to have you with me if you decide to follow along. I'm just wishing you all the love and magic, Virgo. Do take care. Bye for now.